Today I'm going to show you how to make rum chata on man cave munchies. And better still, I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. I'll explain in a minute. But this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some rum, and I've actually got vanilla rum. You're going to find out why I've got vanilla rum in a few seconds. You're going to need a couple of small bottles of Fireball whiskey. You need one small can of evaporated milk. You're going to need a measuring cup. You're going to need a blender. And you're going to need one carton of half and half. That's it. Over here we've got, this is where you're going to decant the finished product when we're, when we're through. Okay, so let's get started. So all it takes is a blender. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take Mr. Mug, and we're going to put in two cups of our vanilla rum. Now normally, when you're making rum chata, you start off with the milk, and you start off with a couple of cups of sugar that you put into a pot, and then you have to bring the pot to a slow simmer, to make what's called a simple syrup. But because we've got our evaporated milk, we can eliminate that process because we're actually going to use the evaporated milk to make the sweetness that we want for our drink. So let's start this up real quick and we're going to blend these two together. Once we get that done, we're going to next put in our milk, or actually half and half. Then we're going to put in two of the Fireball whiskeys, and again, this is another step uh, saver because normally you have to put both vanilla and you have to put in your uh, cinnamon, but putting this in eliminates that. One. Two. And give it another little pulse. Now for the most important part. The taste test. Because you want to see if it's strong enough, if it's sweet enough, if you need to add rum. I think we're going to add another cup of rum. And you'll notice I'm going to use a very specific measuring device. Glug, 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 glug. The reason I put the lid on there is we're so close to the top, I didn't want to have half of the rum chata on my rum footer. And one more taste. Absolutely perfect. Now all we have to do is take our funnel and carefully fill this up because these bad boys are going to live in your refrigerator. See what happens when you get a little too much? You gotta be careful. Watch this. The pro move. Sorry, right, it's just foam that came out the top, not the milk itself. Now if we were freezing this like we do with our limoncello, you wouldn't want to fill the bottle to the top. But when you're doing this type of a liqueur, it's going to be in the refrigerator, so it's not going to expand. You can fill it right up. Nothing wrong with that. And you'll find out that you're going to have enough to make, guess what? Two, count them, two bowls. Mm -hmm. 